You both said today that you love each other and I believe it, but I'm trying to tell you love is not enough for a successful marriage. There's so many other things that go in it. It's not just about you anymore. Here is today's case. Dean has a history of lying and being deceptive. He always turns his phone upside down. He sleeps with his phone under his pillow. So I can hear the alarm. He's always calling me names, Your Honor. What names, Dean? Oh, Latino French Montana or Section 8 Drake. Like, she always says this stuff and it chips away at me. Mr. Gonzalez, you know what this is? This I mean, is me playing the world's smallest violin for you. <laughs> I mean... I have no sympathy for you whatsoever, sir. The court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Monroe versus Gonzalez. Thank you, Juan. Christy Monroe. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Dean Gonzalez. Hello, Your Honor. To divorce court today. The two of you have recently broken off your engagement. Yes. There have been a number of issues in the relationship and you want to try to resolve them here in divorce court today? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'll start with you, Ms. Monroe. Give me some background. Um, okay, so we met in December, early of December 2018 and uh, really quickly we fell in love. I was head over heels. I thought he was the most amazing guy I've ever met mm -hmm. and we kind of moved in right away. We spent Christmas together. It was the first time I felt like I had a family in a long time mm -hmm. and then the next day, December 26th, we were down by the beach and um, we were walking and I just turned around and Dean was down on one knee and he asked me to marry him and I couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. Um, so I had said yes, and I was really excited, but we kind of agreed also that we were going to keep it kind of quiet because it was so fast. Like, we just... How fast was it? It's about three weeks. Oh, three yeah. weeks. But like I said, he was the man of my dreams. He was doing and saying all the right things, like everything that I could have ever wanted. In um, three weeks, you made that decision? Yes. I'm just but... that nice, Your Honor. I'm just, but... It's me. Your Honor... But you've ended up here in divorce court. Yes. Well, so it didn't go too well. Yeah. So I'm here today because Dean has a lot of um, really sketchy behaviors and I know that he cheated on me and, um, you know, he drinks and he isn't financially responsible and I don't really know if I can move forward with him because of everything that I've found out. Who broke off the engagement? I did. Okay. I want to hear from you, Mr. Gonzalez. She, she said a lot about how the two yeah. of you met. You moved quickly. Why do you think you're here? I'm here because I got a bad rap. Basically, I want a second chance, but Christy is... She, this is the part she didn't mention. She's a stripper, okay? I'm sorry. You know, that's not very traditional, but that's so what she does. So what? It's 2020. Okay, I my point about that to. is that it takes very thick skin for me to be with a stripper. I didn't expect this. She so. wasn't stripping when you met her? Oh, yeah, yeah, she, she was, but... I'm a nationally touring, headlining stand-up comedian. My entire act is about being a stripper. Everybody, like, I mean, there was no secrets. I told him on the first date that that's what I did. It's not, like, any kind of secret. So, um, I got to be interviewed by the Comedy Cellar, which is the best comedy club in the entire country. And it's in New York, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the interview, um, Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, and Aziz Ansari walked in. Wow. And I was in shock. Like, these are my idols. These these are the people I want to be like. They were saying, keep going. Like, your comedy act is so unique. You're going to make it. And so Dean was in the green room when that happened. And Dean comes out. And to one of them, he said, like, hey, you know, you got to back up off my girl. And I was like, mortified. So, um, like, an another time, my agent, we were, like, in L.A., and we went out to dinner, and the entire time, Dean was texting me, and he's like, you better not cheat on me, and, um, you know, he, like, I'm like, Dean, they're, like, 80 years old. They're all older men, She's and this is a completely professional no. dinner. It wasn't anything. So you're saying that he did not have a problem with your with you stripping and being a comedian until you started yeah. associating with more people in the business. Yeah, so... Let me I... hear from Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you. What's going on, sir? Okay. Are you, are you jealous and insecure? No, no. I mean, obviously, look... Are you a little threatened by her success? No, no, no. I can't just let her go off in that and then just blindly trust her. He I just let her know, no. hey, just be wary about this. Because one time, this is a story she did tell, she showed up to one of these A-listers for a skit or something, and he showed up to the door with a robe completely naked underneath. Right or wrong? It was unacceptable. And I ran. Like, I literally... Okay. You're concerned, and you want her to just be more aware. 
be super aware. And, uh, and, and when she's not dealing me. with people in the industry. Your exactly. Honor, I've been stripping yes, Your for Honor. seven years. Thanks. And you want her to be just be taken seriously for the act that she is. Yeah, and, and not a be little taken respect for of. me, too. I mean, one of those guys that she mentioned could literally pay off her whole student loan. Meanwhile, you know, we go on dates to the Waffle House. I can't compete with them <laughs> on a financial successful level yet. So but that is so that is a, a little bit of insecurity because she's 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 with you. So she's not so when she's out and she's working and she's meeting other people in the industry and you say I can't compete with them, she's not asking you to compete with them. She's competing with her own self at work. Well, no. If she wanted you to compete with them, she wouldn't be with you. All due respect, when she's on stage, that's work. When she's politicking and networking with these people, that's work that's, too. I don't that's know. That's work about, too. I, See, that's part of it. Let me, you know let me tell that. you something, Mr. Gonzalez. In this industry, networking and meeting people who you know opens many doors. In her case, networking. You, you, yes, you better have talent, but that's only the part of the equation. It's the lunches, the meetings, the happy hours, the golf courses, when people are talking and, and, and getting to know each other. And you can do that as a woman in this field without sleeping with somebody to make it. I think what you're saying is you may have somewhat trust with her, but you don't trust the men. Exactly. Dean has a history of lying and being deceptive. I have text messages from this girl that I've known for a long time who Dean has had cheated on me with. So what I did was try to orchestrate some type of threesome. Dean, stop lying, you're ridiculous. is happening one time we had gone to a pool party in Miami and um, his friends were there and you know everyone was like kind of hanging out on the outside of the pool but me and him had brought these big inner tubes and we were in the pool like having fun and this drunk girl like wobbled up to Dean and she was like falling all over him and then he picked her up by her chest and dragged her into his tube and the tube is not that big it's like a pretty small tube. So she was right up in his face, like trying to make out with him. And I looked onto the side of the pool. Every single one of his friends, their mouths were on the floor. Like they were just shocked. Your they Honor, could not I, believe Your it. Honor, and I was so embarrassed. Your Honor, I thought she was drowning in my defense. I couldn't get a good grip of her. She looked like she was drowning. She was drunk. Dean, stop lying. You're ridiculous. Yeah. You said you were just saving a life. Yeah, and that, and that about her trying to make out with me, I thought she was... I told her that I thought she was going for like CPR, but I later told her that it was it so, was my Honor, fault, and I, I agree that it was wrong, and it was in the beginning of the relationship, and I was sorry. Your Honor, so, and the two of you worked past that. We did. I thought so. But the bigger issue you say is with an issue of trust. Dean has a history of lying and being deceptive, so he always turns his phone upside down, he sleeps with his phone under his pillow, he takes his phone to the bathroom every single time, and there's been like some times that we were supposed to go out, so one, one time in particular, um, my friend was having her birthday, Dean knew we were supposed to leave the house at eight o'clock. I didn't know where he was all day. The whole entire night, he doesn't respond. So um, I got home around two o'clock in the morning. He's still not home. Uh, then at Your like... Honor, Your Honor, this is all just her blowing stuff out of no. proportion. Your and Honor, really, what, you, what, what, is that, uh, honestly, what are you trying to tell me now? Okay, that she just so doesn't he came trust home me. at four o'clock in the morning Donald, and he was Donald. completely drunk and he lied and he said like, uh, that his uh, friend's tire pop and he has a history of lying and you know not letting me see who he's talking to and it's just ridiculous. Are you hiding your phone and hiding your whereabouts, sir? No, I, absolutely not. I, Can I you stand sleep? up for me, Mr. Gonzalez? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, just lies, a lot of them. You see how she's jealous about me? That's an oxymoron to me. That's not I jealousy, sleep with my you're phone. a liar. I sleep with my phone underneath my pillow so I can hear the alarm more clearly. If it's it not buzzes. under your pillow, you don't hear the alarm? I'm a very deep sleeper, Your Honor. Your Honor. More importantly, Your Honor, I have text messages from this girl that I've known for a long time who Dean has had cheated on me with. And I think that that is really important. No, I'm no, sorry. she doesn't I'm... know, she doesn't know. No, no, you see this? 
she doesn't Mr. know. Gonzalez, exactly. hold on a second, okay. sir. I'd like to see the text messages. What are these text messages from? Oh, um, wow. So I think they're up here. So basically uh -huh. in... Who is this person? Um, she's a girl that I've known for a couple of years. We're not super good friends, but um, I came home and he was sleeping and his phone was on the end table for the first time ever because it's usually under the pillow hiding. And his phone was lighting up and it was like the name of a family member. And I was worried, like, maybe he's having a family emergency. So I looked and the messages were not something that a family member would be saying. So the text messages were saying like, we really need to tell her and you can't marry her without her knowing the truth. And I was like, Flipped out. Who were the messages from? They were from this girl, Lily. What's her name? Lily? Lily. Let me see some of the messages. Oh, this. these are the messages that you say, she's writing this to you? Yeah, this was on Instagram. First off, I didn't blank him. Second off, we hadn't talked in a long time. I obviously wouldn't have done anything like that if I knew. Chrissy, I'm so sorry this happened. I thought you were broken up. <laughs> if I knew you were together, I never would have kissed him. Please forgive me. I was drinking. I wasn't even trying to do anything. So what did the two of you do, Mr. Gonzalez? Okay, so Lily. Dean, you better not lie. I like your honor. I'm sorry. I'm guilty of that. So what I did was try to, behind the scenes, orchestrate some type of threesome with Lily because I feel like she- Are you out of your mind? Yeah. Why would I ever do that? She's very freaky. Lily's very freaky. And just like the pool incident, I couldn't just do it in front of her face to try to orchestrate this. Mr. Gonzalez, like Mr. Gonzalez. Behind the scenes, X-Men maneuver and formulate Those this. messages that I'm looking at from Lily where she's apologizing, she said that she thought the two of you had broken up. That does not sound like someone right. who is being engaged to have a threesome. Lily Sharp is here in court today. Here we go. We kissed at a party and she saw the picture that I sent him where I was sitting on his lap last night. He reached out to me. Did yes, <laughs> you reach out to her yes. last night? No. Yes. Show the last... text. Oh. Oh, that's it? Are you kidding? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. My question is, what happened between you and Lily? I met Lily at a house Did you party. sleep with Lily? So the answer is yes. Yes, yes, I did. Oh, here we go. So why I do you... I want to include her uh, because I just want to spice things up in the, in the relationship. It's okay. getting boring. You're saying <laughs> that's what you want to do. Right. She, your, your fiance is saying that's not what she wants. So are you the only one that matters? Oh, I love her. I, I honestly love her. We don't it doesn't it. feel like you love me. Why would you do that? No, 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 I do love her. You know, she, she's very smart. <laughs> Besides all that stuff with the stripping, she's smart. She's funny. You know, for a white girl, she can cook. She doesn't put raisins on everything. This isn't love, but I can tell you what it's most certainly not, and that is respect. Mm -hmm. I understand, Miss Monroe, that this is difficult for you to hear. But let me tell you something. You, you came to divorce court. You wanted to come here because you wanted to find out the truth. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you rather find out now as opposed to later, five years from now, when you're married, two kids down the road? Yeah. You asked sure. the staff to reach out to a witness yes. to come to court today. Are you in a position to hear from this witness? Yes. Okay. Lily Sharp is here in court today. Okay. And I'm going to ask Juan to now bring in the witness. Here we go. Thank you. Miss mm -hmm. Sharp. Yes. I appreciate you coming to court today to offer your no testimony. No problem, Your Honor. In this case, you you know Christy Monroe. Yeah. And you also know Mr. Gonzalez. How do you know them? Well, I met Christy. I've known her for years, but I wouldn't say we're close friends. I mean, like more like associates, and I met him through her. Mm -hmm. We kissed at a party, mm -hmm. and she saw the picture that I sent him where I was sitting on his lap, and we that's where I kissed him. Out. So, right. and he's also lying when he said that that happened between I never had sex with him. You sent her text messages apologizing. Yes. What was that about? Well, honestly, I felt like I really shouldn't have even been talking to him, mm -hmm. because I knew that they were in a relationship before, so kind of like girl code, I probably shouldn't have even you know, give him the time of day or anything like that. But 
Why did you? Honestly, Why? I was bored. Bored. You know, oh, wow. <laughs> bored. he was like, he was DMing me. Was he trying to get you to do a threesome? He never said anything about doing a threesome with her. <laughs> and I wouldn't have agreed to it. But last night, he reached out to me. Mm -hmm. So what yeah. about what? <laughs> How did, that, did you reach out to her last night? No. So last How? night, yes. Show the last... text. Oh, oh, that's it. Are you kidding? Wait, wait, Dean, wait. Are you kidding? No, but hold on. It doesn't show what account that's from. I don't know if that's. You could check my account. Hey, boo, it's D. They put us in different tellies. What does telly mean? Oh, Hotel. hotels. Yeah. I could slide through later though, and you respond D question mark. And this person replies, Dean, where you at and what room number I'm gonna pull up. Mr. Gonzalez, you sent those messages? I have no recollection of sending those messages. Really? Like, so that was 12 hours ago. You have no recollection from 12 hours ago? Jet lag from the plane. I, I, Your Honor, I, I don't know. Okay, I, so you're lying. So you're lying. You, apparently you lie a lot. You sent her the messages. Put context to it. She, There is again, no context to it. Once again, she disrespected me and chipped away at my confidence again like she always does. She's always calling me names, Your Honor. What names, Dean? Oh, what like, names? like, uh, Mr. I don't Gonzalez? Know, uh, Latino French Montana or Section 8 Drake. Like, she always says this stuff and it chips away at Mr. me. Mr. Gonzalez, you know what this is? My this name? is me playing the world's smallest violin for you. <laughs> I mean... I have no sympathy for you whatsoever, sir. Ms. Sharp, yes. I appreciate you no, coming into you. court today and no offering your testimony. Thank you. I believe Ms. Sharp is telling the truth. This wasn't about a menage a trois. This was just about you being selfish and being a cad. I still think it could happen, Your Honor. I I'm going to be honest. Mm. Are you, Dean, you are. Thank out you, Ms. Sharp. <sighs> Here's where we are. Your Honor, can I just say one Mr. thing? Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Gonzalez, okay. you got to stop. I don't know what happened in those three weeks from when the two of you met to when you accepted a proposal. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something. No one ever looks back on their relationship and wish they had moved faster. But we see people come in this court day after day after day and wish that they had waited. You know, the lies will cover people for only a certain amount of time. The truth may hurt, but there is only one that sets you free. So now when you walk out of court today, knowing the truth, You've broken out off the engagement. Yes. You don't walk out of court, you run. This is not what you want. So now you have your answers today. And you, you have this amazing budding career yes. that you could focus on, that you can pursue, and you can be with somebody who appreciates you for who you are and the things that you are trying to accomplish in your life. So there are no more tears. Yes. There are no more tears. These are tears, these should be tears of joy. <laughs> You're right. Because you can walk out and be joyful and be happy. Yeah. And you, sir, your arrogance and your betrayal and the fact that you have absolutely no boundaries whatsoever, the only person you love is yourself. You say you love her, you don't love her. And I hope you can leave out of this courtroom and find somebody to love you as much as you love you. I'm not sure that's gonna happen, but good luck. So. Thank you. Going forward, I now know for sure that Dean is a liar and a cheater, and I'm just gonna go home and pack up all my things and leave as fast as possible because I don't believe one word that he says, and if he could hurt me like that, then you know he could probably do it again. Judge Faith's advice for me wasn't productive for me. She doesn't know the whole context. The whole audience was all women. I feel like this was kind of an ambush towards me, but hey. I mean, I'm done. Like, you're on your own. You're gonna have to pay your own rent. I'm getting all my stuff and I'm leaving. Like, oh, she ain't. She'll be back. Are she'll, you out of your mind? You back. have lost me forever. She'll you be could back. never. Look, watch Free my Max ass Free, as baby. it walks away because you will never see it again.